Hello everyone, this is Rodney Samuels, licensed real estate agent and professional wholesaler. This video I'm going to be going over how to fill out a purchase and sale agreement, which is just a contract that you're going to be filling out with the uh, with your potential seller. Now, um, this contract here is just a sample. I advise you to just use this as a guide. You don't have to use this word for word. In the description of this video, I will be giving you a free sample that you can download of this contract and I'm also going to be giving you for free a copy of the yellow letter that I use to mail out to sellers which gets me an incredible 15 percent response rate and this is the letter that I use to fill my list uh, with uh, real cash buyers okay all that's gonna be for free in the description of this video Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get into this agreement here. So this is a sample of the contract that you would fill out with the seller. We're going to go over it. Basically this top section here, it has the buyer and seller and the date. Okay, You have the date here. This is pretty simple stuff. The seller, the seller's name would go there and the buyer. You would put your name here as the buyer or your LLC. and this is key right here and or assignees that gives you the right to assign this contract to your end buyer okay so make sure you put that in there even though any contract is assignable unless it states otherwise in the contract just do yourself a favor and put that in there this allows you to assign the contract sell agrees to sell and buyer agrees to buy the following property basic information here you would put the address there the city the county, the state, and then here, and further described as, I usually just put a single family residence or multifamily residence, okay? Purchase price. This is where I put my full purchase price, what I'm offering on the property, okay? Earnest money deposit. This is what I'm giving them as a down payment, okay? You can give them whatever you want. I've done as little as a dollar sometimes. You might want to do $100, <clears throat> excuse me. It's up to you. And this is the balance that you're going to pay at closing. So it'll be your purchase price minus your deposit, and that's the balance. And then you go back down here and just put the total amount that you're paying again, which should match your purchase price. Item one here <clears throat> is the closing date. This is where you put your date that you plan to settle on or before. I usually make mine at least 30 days. And it says it's going to take place at the buyer's lending institution or title company. That says we have to settle at my title company. Okay. I want to be in control of this. Transfer of title. This basically says that they're going to give me title to the property free and clear of all claims and rights. So basically no debts on the property. No old water bills. No um, back taxes. You want to make sure you're getting a clean title. <clears throat> Condition of the property is being sold as is. So that means they don't have to fix up the property. Damage to the property. Seller shall maintain the property in its current condition. And keep it insured against all lost, all losses. So basically, you want the property, when you go to settle, you want it to be in the same condition as it is when you saw it initially. Defaults. This basically says that if I default on the contract, they can keep the, uh, keep the deposit. Access to the property. This is very important for showing it to your cash buyers. Try to put something in your agreements that lets you have access to the property to show your business associates, which are your end buyers. Your, those are your cash buyers. You want to try and get the property on lockbox or just explain to the seller that you might have to call them to set up a, uh, a date and time to come back because you have to show the property to uh, a business partner. I, I usually like to put here any additional contingencies or terms that we might discuss, um, the seller and I, maybe some concerns that they might have and that I might agree to. We like to put that in there. Number eight basically says that this is, is this is the complete agreement and that it can only be changed in writing. Okay. Usually if you're gonna have to cancel an agreement, try to put it in writing to make everything official. Okay. And parties liable. Basically, it's between me, the buyer, and the seller. All right. Down here, this is where the buyer and seller sign. So you would sign as the buyer and you have the seller sign make sure that you have all sellers 
sign on your on your contracts to avoid any problems in the future all right so like I said you can get a free copy of this I'm gonna put a link in the description and I'm also giving you a copy of that yellow letter that I use to mail out to cash buyers that yellow letter has made me a lot of money a lot of money if you use it properly and it's part of my paid course on wholesaling it's part of that but I'm giving it to you for free alright please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and good luck